Welcome to video 3 of the query series and uh, this is a continuation from the introduction to the query series video 1 of the query series which covers a little bit of more of the basics and this video 3 just goes deep into joining several data items so if you haven't if you aren't conversant with creating a query the column um uh what is it called how to create a column item and a filter item so if you don't you can't define a new column query and a new filter query then it's good you go to video one and video two before you come to video three and in video three we will basically join two data items together we can join more than two but uh, we'd like to stick to two data items which will be the item and the item ledger entry so that we can create a view that contains both the item and the item ledger entry and uh, we'll be able to see the different types of join in this video so stay tuned <laughs> So the snippet definitely is the T query and uh, item query. So we, we are calling our query the item query and uh, we'll definitely of course remove the trigger and we'll start with the item table as the core or the main data item and uh, we will just have the column for the item number and the description for the item. I think the two are enough when you have the item number and the description. So let's have them like that. And we don't need a filter column for this, but we need a child that the item similar to how we create it in report and that will be the item ledger entry child data item we will have a column for the um, you can say the posting date and the document number and uh, the description and the quantity for the item ledger entry and definitely okay there is another description item ledger description so item ledger description Let's make it descriptive item ledger description. So we definitely have a red squiggly line that says that we haven't set the data item link. How are we linking the two columns? So there's a new property that we'd like to use in before setting the data item link. Ideally, the, data, the, the data item link is set to the the field the item number will be equal to the item dot number so that's how we set the data item link of our query but we'd like to basically be able to set the joins so that we can see the different ways that our query will be displayed so let's copy this query first and then tamper with the first query so this will be number nine so we'll start with the we'll create a new property here and uh, that will be the sql join type so the, the first query we will say that this is sql join type cross join and this one does not require us to have the data item link and it is saying that the resulting data set contains rows that combine each row from the upper data item table with each row from a lower data item table and cross joins are also called cartesian products 
said they do not require any comparison between fields and definitely the data item must be left blank so the result will contain the rows um will combine each row from the upper data item table and each row from the lower data item table so each row will be its own sort of row for both the upper and the lower data item and here we'll just definitely say this is a cross join item legend query and we can say that the query category is definitely the same item list and the customer list then we'll go back here to our item query and we call it inner join and definitely say that our sql join type will be inner join and what does inner join say it says that we will what does the resulting data set will contain records from the data item tables where a match is found between fields that are linked by the data item link property of the law of the lower data item um of the lower data item so there has to be a match between the fields of the top and the one of the bottom for it to display and then we will definitely proceed copy this and uh, call it left left join the last one will be right join right join so oh, this one will be 11 all right so here the sql join type will be left outer join so the resulting data set contains every record from the upper data item even if a record does not have a matching value in the lower data item for fields that are linked by the data item link property so even if we have an item without an item ledger entry it will be displayed for this first join we need to have an item and an item ledger entry that matches the item for it to be displayed but definitely for the left after join we will we can still have an item even if we don't have uh, an item ledger entry what about the right outer join right outer join here says that uh, the resulting data set contains every record from the lower data item table even if the record does not have a matching value in the upper data item for fields that are linked by the data item link property so in the right outer join we are focused on the the lower data item that is the right data item so or any if, even if it doesn't have a match in the item the item ledger entry record will be displayed and finally we have a full outer join let me just call it the full join and uh, what is it all about the full outer join the resulting data set will contain all the records from the upper data item table and all the records from the lower data item table including records that do not have a matching value for columns that are linked by the data item link property so the full outer join will contain all records from the item and the item ledger entry even if they are not linked all right so time to test let's see let's see our query let's see our query in action but as we test let's confirm that everything is okay we have our the cross join which doesn't have a data item link an inner join a left 
outer join misspelling mistake there and uh, right outer join and then we have a full outer join and definitely we can now be able to look at how it will be displayed so let's go back and see where are the items all right so from the items list we can be able to display all these queries we can definitely be able to view the queries okay it's taking too long because we have many queries they're also trying to be created so the first one is the cross join we'll start with the cross join and we'll definitely see that the cross join will contain all the records what is the definition <laughs> haven't crammed these definitions let's confirm it from our intelligence it says that we sh we are expecting that which should contain the rows that combine each row from the upper data item table and each row from the lower data item table so each row should be there so this is the row from the like you can see that this is the same item number repeated so many times so each row from the lower and each row from the from the upper data item, the lower and the upper data item. Wait, am, am I still in the same item number? Let's let look at uh, another item number. So you can definitely see that this quantity is repeated, this quantity is repeated for the same item. So each row is displayed each row in the lower data item and the upper data item. All right, a lot of repetition for this. Just trying to visualize what could be the use, use case for this, but um, definitely um, they're called Cartesian products. They do not require any comparisons between the fields. Okay, so it means it's like saying for each item I display each item ledger entry that is there. So the first item will contain all the item ledger entries. Then the second item will contain all the item ledger entries. And then the third item, all the other item, item ledger entries. So you don't have any relation. So that's the cross join. All right, let's go to the inner join and uh, definitely the inner join, we need to have a link between the two data items for it to be displayed. And here is the inner join. And it's clean. The inner join data is sort of clean because the bicycle will only display a linking item ledger entry for the same bicycle. The same with the front wheel item, the rim, the spokes, and all that. So a matching record must be contained in the child and the parent data item for it to be displayed. So if there are several items which have been excluded because they don't have a matching child um, item in the inner join. All right, and the definition says that the resulting data set contains records from data item tables where a match is found between the fields that are linked by the data item link property of the lower data item so they should be linked all right let's go to the left outer join the left outer join so here we are basically looking at so we'll have the item like this item does not have a matching item ledger entry but it is still being displayed despite not having a matching item ledger entry the same for this item the same for um, for these items here they don't have a matching item ledger entry but they're they're still displayed 
All right, that's the left outer join. The right outer join is the opposite. If the item ledger entry is there, but the item isn't there, so it will be displayed. So the right outer join will be quite different. And definitely, it's rare for you to find an item ledger entry without a matching item. So we'll definitely be seeing that uh, this one will mostly resemble the inner join for this case because mostly we are prioritizing the item ledger entry presence over the item presence and uh, it's rare to have an item ledger entry for business central without an item but if you delete an item and the item ledger entry remains then that item ledger entry will be displayed and uh, the definition is definitely um, every record from the lower data item even if a record does not have a matching value in the upper data item and uh, in the full join um, so all the records so we are now combining everything from the left outer join and the right outer join into the full join and we can basically see it will resemble the left outer join in our case because the item ledger entry uh, does not have all the items do have an item a matching item ledger entry and you can see there are several items without a matching item ledger entry but they're, they're still displayed in this case all right so that's it for this video we have combined the queries and had a look at the different types of joins that are there and we have been able to test the results so tell me what you think about this and uh, we can clearly see that we can be able to combine the the values of different uh, data items into a similar table like you're creating a view or sort of a table that has data from the different data items and when you look at a normal page like the items it will mostly contain one data item and if it needs if we need to view the items the item ledger entry we might need to drill down in the item so that we can see for each for the link of this item where is the item ledger entry and uh, so the difference between the two is now with the query we are able to combine the data items and use the different strategies like the joins to be able to get whichever um, uh, whichever result set that you'd like we get a result set that is contained in one query it's like we are creating our own view our own table that we can use for analysis and use for other similar purposes so thank you very much if you have reached here then congratulations and uh, um, i'll see you in the next video of the query series please stay tuned if you enjoyed this video make sure to like subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss the next one